Hey everyone, welcome to the wedding day. It's an elopement today at DTK Chapel, which is 200 King Street West in Kitchener, uh, at City Hall, which is very convenient because I live right downtown Kitchener. And today the officiant is Jeff Mack. You're gonna be on top of my camera for the whole wedding, so you get to see kind of what it looks like in all the images as well. Um, yeah, Kitchener, man. This is exploding. Ridiculous. You ready, Jeff? Always ready. Bring it on, let's go. Who's getting married? Who wants to get married? This guy over there? You getting married? Hey, excuse me. He's doesn't want, to, doesn't want to get married. That Jeff is a character. Isn't he just a, a fun-loving guy? As I mentioned in the intro, we're here at the DTK Chapel, uh, King Street, downtown Kitchener. And um, we're here for a wedding day, an elopement with, I think, maybe 18 guests, bride and a groom. It's a beautiful sunny day in March. It's like the first wonderful day we had all year. So naturally, you know, I, I decided to, to go outside and take some exterior photos of what isn't snow, uh, the first non-snow we've seen in a long time. Yeah, Jeff Jeff took on this chapel uh, 2020, mid-2020, and uh, he's been taking on couples ever since. It's been such a good investment for the community as well to you know, bring life to this old chapel that had been running for like 20 plus years. And yeah, it just, it, it, he brought it into the 21st century, which is great. Uh, we've got Laura and Corey here, lovely couple. And uh, like every wedding, it's kind of like a, a micro experience, I guess. Uh, we'll do some detail shots of the bride and groom separately, even though they're literally, you know, feet away from each other. But it's nice to get those kind of anticipatory shots that you get on a wedding day anyway, you know. It also helps the couple kind of warm themselves up to me as a photographer, being able to uh, take some detail shots before everyone arrives. And uh, here's people. Here's all the people. This is everyone who's going to be here. And uh, I'll take this time usually to take some candid photos you know, let people kind of understand that I'm there to take photos, uh, integrate myself into the room, and then by the time the ceremony rolls around, people will forget I'm there for the most part, which is lovely, which is what I aim to do for most weddings. Just kind of blend into the, the furniture and become a really nice rattan-colored chair. Is rattan a color or is it a thing? It's a texture, Lindsay says. It's an idea? Okay. I like to become a furniture-shaped idea so people forget I'm there because as everyone's marketing website says, candid is the best. And it is, you know, in a lot of ways. Especially for documentary stuff like this. Oh, this is a sweet moment here. I want to get Laura and her dad before they come down the aisle. Again, anticipatory moments. Those are the ones people kind of let their guard down. They forget I'm there. I try to capture those as much as possible. And like any wedding day, I'll stand up near the groom, um, get some reaction shots of him seeing her come down the aisle, because that's when it becomes real for a lot of people. So, um, quick pivot there, I'm able to get kind of his perspective of her coming down the aisle uh, with her father. I like the DTK Chapel because it's very bright. Um, there's a lot of natural light coming in from those windows. And uh, yeah, it just having the white walls just really brightens everything up. I don't know what the capacity is in this building, but I think it's close to 60 or 50. There's enough chairs there, it seems like they could fit probably triple what they have here. So depending on what your needs are and how many guests you're having, um, you know, reach out to Jeff. He's the one who knows the numbers. I just take the photos. But yeah, whether it's a, a small intimate group of you and five people or a whole, you know, extended family, it looks like they can accommodate quite a few people in this chapel, so. So for the vows, I like to kind of position myself right down the middle. I always like the reaction shots of the people receiving the vows, if that makes sense. I'd rather get um, those shots because they're not buried into a, a page of words. They're, they're looking at the person's face and you usually get a lot of nice emotion from those photos, so. Those are the things that I think make the most sense is like getting the reaction shots from people. Jeff can do full signing, um, full signing the ceremony if you like. 
He's a licensed individual to marry couples. Uh, and he does, often. So it's a full legal process. It's not like going down to Jamaica, you know, on a beach somewhere where you sign papers when you get home or before you leave. Jeff does the full service here. It's something I miss in gas stations, too, is full service. There's only a few gas stations in town, I think, that do full service. I really wish they'd bring that back, especially the prices. Good grief. Good grief. Full serve prices and self-serve? I don't think so. You gotta bring that back. We'll see, it fluctuates, like everything you know. By the time you watch this video, it's probably six months later and gas prices are back to 80 cents a liter, so. Uh, <laughs> right now it's like 180, 170. Which is a benefit for me because uh, uh, I don't have to charge travel fees for being at the DTK Chapel because I literally live a 15 minute walk from DTK uh, Chapel. We moved from Guelph beginning of the year and um, I really like Kitchener. A lot of my friends and family here, a lot of the clients I like to shoot are here, so it was a good move for us. Um, and also being that I'm so close, I'm able to shoot more weddings at the DTK Chapel because it's just so geographically convenient. <laughs> Following ceremonies, as I tell all my couples, is the best time to do family formals because everyone's in one spot. Um, given that there's only 18, 19 people here, I told them we can do as many combinations as you want. Um, you have me for enough time that we could do each person individually if you wanted to. And yeah, we took full advantage because why not? Uh, so we started with a list that I had Laura and Corey put together before we actually showed up on site, um, starting with a big full group shot because, uh, again, there's few, there's enough people here that it just made sense to do the full photo of everyone here. It's a nice thing, like a thank you card, I guess you could do. And also just, you know, how often do you get all the people you like in one building, in one space to get a photo? Not very often is the answer. Almost never. So, happy to do, you know, any combination of people that people want because, you know, important photos. And just like any other wedding day, I will take my couple out after this family formals. And because it was such a beautiful day in downtown Kitchener in the beginning of March, we decided to go for a bit of a photo tour outside of City Hall and uh, kind of adventure around the, the downtown Kitchener core. Smooch, it could be cute. Awesome. You guys want to hold hands and walk this way, just for a few? And look at each other as you guys walk. So this is Gaudi's Lane. I like to take my couples here. Um, if we were to do a wedding at the Walper or at the DTK Chapel, um, it's a great little spot. Lots of uh, tasteful graffiti that people have put up commissioned by the city, I think. They do a lot of festivals here, um, a lot of pub crawls. They do like uh, little pop-up shops in this kind of laneway. Um, and with the exception of the snow, sometimes you get the lights on. So it's, it's a really nice, beautiful space. Shields from the wind. I thought it would work really well, and it, it did. It worked really well for this couple. With all my couples, I'm trying to put them in one spot, find the good light, and then just kind of move around them to get the photos I think that makes sense for who they are as a couple. Um, again, I don't like to be too prescriptive in how I pose people. Um, I'll give suggestions versus directions, and we'll just build from there. So a lot of the time it's like, hold hands, walk that way, have a good time. And then uh, look at my camera, don't look at my camera, look at each other. The more I can get couples to interact with each other, the better the photos end up being. Again, Canada is best, and it is best. Canada's a good thing. So why wouldn't we re replicate that as much as possible? As I mentioned, there's some really good graffiti here. Um, street art, I guess you'd call it. Um, pops of color in this weird alleyway, so we'll utilize that as much as possible. I want to let these kind of just dangle down like this. Yeah, and then you guys are going to hold hands just where you're standing. Perfect, that's great. Beautiful guys, go for a smooth. Laura had a couple suggestions and ideas for a photo. She wanted a nice shot of both rings in one frame, and she also wanted the frames earlier that you saw of the two of them wrapped around her shawl. And um, that was premeditated, not just because it was cold, but because 
it's a beautiful red shawl. I think she just wants that kind of, those photos of warmth and, and togetherness, I guess. So um, yeah, I'm happy to accommodate any kind of photos that are requests in terms of incorporating your outfit into portraits that you want to see and hang on your wall. We'll take all those. Yeah, and it also was a benefit because it was very cold. So I'm glad that she brought a shawl and was warm. If you guys want to leave for a kiss, could you keep two? On the walk back, I found this great wall with some fantastic light bouncing off the other side of the building, which was a Capers at one point, and now it's a Tim Hortons. The city's evolving. Um, Here's what I found. Siri, no one asked you. Stop talking to me. And again, some really simple portraits here against this brick wall. I find that um, if you find the good light, you just stick to it and you re reposition couples within that good light. You get some nice stuff, you get a lot of variety. You don't have to go very far. Um, and uh, yeah, a couple couples, a couple couples. Some couples want to go to Victoria Park, I'm totally fine with that too. It's not too far, um, so long as the weather's good and it's not gray and disgusting on the ground, so. One more quintessential shot we had to get, being that we're in downtown Kitchener, is a shot of them in the middle of the street, because what kind of cityscape would be complete without a photo of the couple in the middle of a busy intersection? We spent about 20, 25 minutes doing photos after the ceremony, which I think is pretty standard. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate you sticking around to the end. If you are a couple looking to inquire to book me for the DTK Chapel or something else in the area, please reach out. All my details are below in the description of this video. If you are a photographer or videographer looking to learn a little bit more about how I do what I do or just want to reach out and chat and discuss, I don't know, lenses or cameras or lighting or backdrop or the Studio One King or anything interesting, you know, I'm a friendly guy. Let's chat. Reach out. Let's do a thing. Subscribe, like, do all the things. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again next time in the next video, whenever the heck that will be. Bye. Oh yeah, um, there's other videos here. You wanna watch one of these, whichever one. I don't know. One of these two beside my head. <laughs>